Okay, so after ma ma maintaining the mapping for actions and connector groups, now let us go and maintain uh, the business process and sub processes. Okay, so execute that step, and then SAP by default gives you certain uh, business processes. Uh, if you pick one of them, and let's say if you take the basis one and expand this, and you'll see the business sub process here right so select the business process and double click on business sub processes you'll get the sub process within that so you can either use the existing business processes and if you have any you know your custom business process that you want to add you can add okay so let's go and add for example okay so let's say it's security for example Okay, and we just say security. Okay, now if you want to add a business sub process to it, uh, the sub, you can select the business process and then double click on business sub process and let's new entries and let's say roles. Okay, say role management. Say users, okay. Let's say user management, something like this. Okay, you can create your own business process and sub processes and save it. Now, to this, if you want to add for the business process, you want to include any of the connector groups that you have configured, you can do that, okay, for the business process. So this business process and the sub processes within it are applicable to these, in this case, in these two connector groups. Okay. Now you can do that same if you want to add, for example, in this existing this business process, if you want to add something of your own, you can just say SP sec. Let's say sec admin, okay? Let's say security admin. Now this will be used during function creation and then role in BRM and all that. Okay. So save this. Select and double click on assign application area to business process. Click on new entries and then you can also select your connector groups. Now, it's not a mandatory step, but you could do that. So, we created uh, two, and uh, we already have order for ca order to cash and PTP. And then you have finance. Let's see what finance has. Finance has AP, accounts payable, and GL. And let's create one more if you want. So, let's say TR00, say, saying it is treasury, okay? If you want, go and assign the connector groups. Okay, so we are going to see where the settings are coming, okay, will be applicable. So we created one business process and sub process within it, and we created a couple of uh, sub processes within the existing delivered business processes. Okay, so we need to do, uh, define these and so that it could be used in on the GRC side, access control side. Okay. 